everyone. Welcome to Bot Game Season 4 Generative AI Edition. In this season, let's explore the potential of generative AI and how it can enhance the functionality of your automations. We are kicking things off in week 1 with a healthcare AI challenge in which we will look at how to automate the report generation process for a fictitious healthcare company called Medicops. Through this use case, we will explore how to use generative AI to extract specific information from long form unstructured text and leverage this data to automate complex end to end workflows. Let's get to the objective of the challenge. Medicops provides treatment for a variety of patient conditions and wants to automate its report generation process. The doctor analyzes the patients and shares his notes along with the medicines prescribed through email to the medical assistant. The assistant generates the standardized report to be shared with the patient. The challenge is to automate the process of reading the text from the emails, extracting specific information using generative AI and filling it in the report generating application. Let's look at the prerequisites. If you are using an enterprise version of Automation Success Platform, you can download the ChatGPT package from the bot store and import it to your control room. If you are using Community Edition, it is already preloaded. We have also added documentation on how to use the ChatGPT package. Along with it, there is also a video on how to set up the ChatGPT package and use it. I'll leave the links to both of these in the description. Now, let's look at the entire workflow. Your automation has to launch this challenge page and then click on the mailbox button. This mailbox will contain 10 emails out of which some of them will be unread. Your automation has to read the data only from the unread emails. You have to note that every time you launch this mailbox, the unread emails will be different. So make sure you launch the mailbox from the challenge page as both of these are interconnected. And then pass the data from this email body to generative AI of your choice. In this case, we'll just take an example as chat GPT and then request for specific information that is listed on the challenge page. If you scroll down here, you will see all the fields for which you need the information. For the medication prescribed field, select the checkbox only if the doctor has prescribed any medicines. If there are any, then enter these medicine names in these fields that open up after you click on this checkbox and then click on add. Once you have added the details for all the patients into this report generating application, then the submit button will be enabled and you can click on this to see your score. Let's look at the rules to solve this challenge. The only rule you have to follow is to use generative AI of your choice to extract information from the email text. Let's talk about a couple of tips and tricks. ChatGPT can respond in different formats. So you have to be very specific in the way you will write prompts to generate the required information and in the preferred format you will need to run the automation. Try writing the prompts in different ways to see how the response varies. If you plan to use JSON package, we have a video to show you how to parse JSON using the JSON package and I'll leave the video link in the description. Once you have completed the challenge, share a screenshot of your results on social media using the hashtag botgames and tag three of your automation developer friends whom you'd like to challenge to solve this exercise. This will make you eligible to win some cool board game season 4 swags. Along with sharing your results, do share a couple of tips and tricks which help you solve this challenge and also encourage others to share their tips and tricks. This way you are creating a collaborative environment of developers whom you can rely whenever you have any questions to get help from. A final note, this is a forward looking use case. This showcases how to integrate generative AI's capabilities into your automations. If you plan to use any PHI or PII related use cases using generative AI, please consult your legal team before proceeding. 
Like experimenting with any new technology, you may encounter a few things that may feel wonky while working with generative AI. Part of this challenge is to get along with this and write better prompts and see how you can solve complex problems using generative AI. We will be back with a solution tutorial on Thursday. Till then, we would look forward to see your innovative solutions on social media. I am Arjun S. Meda. Thank you for watching and good luck on your healthcare AI challenge.